It's unfortunate that more software developers don't know about Chalkly. Most .NET developers have heard of it because of the popular package formatting tool called NuGet. Get it? It's chocolatey based on NuGet. Anybody hungry? To install Chocolatey, direct your very favorite web browser, or whichever one you happen to have handy, and point it at chocolatey.org. This takes us to the Chocolatey website, and you can see all the information about it if you want to peruse that. We're just going to go straight to Install Now up here in the corner. And it's got some information here should you want to peruse it about what's about to happen in great detail. But the part you're looking for is this area right here where it says set execution policy bypass. This is actually going to install Chocolatey, believe it or not. And it's going to do it using PowerShell. Now you can read about what all of this set execution policy bypass stuff is. It's not opening a huge hole on your system. It's just allowing a script to run one time. So what I'll do is I'll copy this to the clipboard. And now I just need PowerShell. So there's PowerShell and I need to run this as administrator. So I'll right click and select run as administrator. Once in PowerShell, I will paste in that command that I just copied from that website and I'll press enter and it will download and install Chocolatey for me. This might take a little while, so I will come back when it's done downloading. Installation is complete. Now all we need to do is figure out how to install MongoDB. So for this, I'm going to kill this window. You generally want to do this because the script that you just ran made changes to your system, and this particular window doesn't know about those changes yet, generally speaking. So it's usually a good idea to just close this down and let's open a new window in PowerShell. And once again, I'll run it as administrator. And I'll type clear just because it starts kind of strange there at the top with the text all askew. All right, so there's my PowerShell window. Let me go back to the Chocolatey website, I'll scroll up to the top and I'll click the magnifying glass. So for this one, we're looking for MongoDB and it's going to give us this little disclaimer thing. So I'll just click that. And the current version of MongoDB at the time of the recording, or I should say the most current stable version is 4.28 and we'll click this one. This is the same one that you would be getting if you downloaded off of Mongo's website. So once you click on the MongoDB link, it's going to take you into the detail page for this and it's going to tell you basically what's going on with it. There's some quality checks going on here. That's a good sign that they're all passing. The part that we're really interested in though is this part right here where you have install, upgrade, and uninstall. And all three of these options are really the reason why I like to use Chocolatey or any package manager for the operating system that I'm working on. It makes installation, upgrading, and uninstalling things relatively painless. So to install it, it's already selected. We're just looking at Choco install MongoDB. I could probably remember that, but I'm going to copy it anyway since it's right here. And I will paste it into that elevated PowerShell window that we started just a second ago. And we'll just wait on this to download. It generally goes fairly quickly. Once it downloads all the packages, it will ask you if you want to run the script. I usually hit A for all. Just in case there are other questions behind it, I'm just going to say yes to all of them. And this is looking like it might take a few minutes, so I will come back when this is finished. So generally the next step is just going to be to close this one last time and open a new one but this time you don't need the elevated command line privileges.
Now that we have MongoDB successfully installed, the next thing you generally want to find out is how do you start and stop the service. So on Windows, it gets installed as a service, which means it runs even when nobody is logged in. And we can check that by going to your Start menu and type in Services here. And you should find the Services app. So let's run that. And now inside of the list, if you press M, it will take you to the M's. And we can see that we have MongoDB server here. We can see that it's running and it's going to start automatically every time our system starts up. From here, if we wanted to stop it, just click the stop button. If you wanted to restart it for whatever reason, you can click restart and it will shut it down and then restart it once again. And if you find that you don't want this running all the time on your computer, you can right click this, select properties, and then change the startup type to manual. If you do this, then you're going to have to remember to come in and start the service when you reboot your machine. So just so you're clear on how to do that, I'll stop it and now I'll start it again. So if I had rebooted and it was down, this is what it's gonna look like. It doesn't say running right here. So I can just click the green arrow here and it'll start it back up again. And now it's running. At this stage, you've got MongoDB running on your Windows system. You're ready to move on to the next section. If you found value in this video, if you learned something new, help me out with a like and subscribe. For more videos on software development and DevOps from a developer's perspective, check us out at maddevskills.com or on Twitter at devskills.